Chicken Shack, and they just announced the winner of the 2019 Coquito Festival. And uh, look, I, look, I tell you, the winner looks like she's smiling, cheesing. I tell you, I interviewed her earlier, and I said I had a feeling you're going to win this thing. And look at that, she won. And so, with her, the two owners of the Lorraine Chicken Shack, gentlemen, are you surprised or tell me? So come on. Uh, the competition was stiff. You know, you know, um, yeah, kind of, and not really. Cause she won last. Did you win when you won last year? Last year, second place. Second, she won second place last year, and and that's it, right? And uh, when when did you join? I uh, this is my fourth year. Okay, four years. So out of yeah. twelve years doing it, she joined four years ago. Yeah. And you didn't play, right? Yeah. The first time, right? Yeah, this so, is my second time. Second time I played. Yeah, so, so four years. Four years. First time, second. Yeah. And now, now first. first. Yes. Look at that. Wow. So she must have did some serious corrections or something. <laughs> She's on a roll now. Difference. Hey, I was trying to get the secret sauce, the secret <laughs> recipe, but she wouldn't give it up, man. You know? It's a family, it's a family recipe. You know what? Talking about family, this is a family business. Yes, it is. The Lorraine Chicken Shack is an institution, iconic place. And um, I've heard your story, but now we have an opportunity to talk to the audience. Uh, why don't you give us some background? as to Lorraine Chicken Shack, how long you've been doing this, and obviously this is a big community event, so share with us about that. Actually, you know, it started uh, 17 years back now, and uh, during the Coquito Festival, it's gone 12 years, but uh, how everything started was the Diaz and Ligi Ju, the old timers, our fathers who started this, and uh, we are so thankful for the great job they did, and uh, we're trying to, Copycat what they're doing, you know, because the main thing for them is support the community, you know, and uh, Coquito Festival to us is, is a great event because everybody comes together, yeah. everybody enjoys themselves, yeah. and the, you got the Coquito going contest going here for the adults, and then what the most important to us is the kids, when Santa comes with the kids yeah. and give out the gifts to the kids, you know, and so everybody enjoys themselves, and it's about just having fun, enjoying yourself, and I was, you know, of course, safety. You know, so. so, talk about the kids. Uh, I remember you were Santa Claus, you brought all the gifts. I think you packed with like 500 gifts for the kids. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, the importance of doing that. Um, well, the importance of doing that, it, 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 it means so much to the kids. You know, kids, uh, they're the most innocent people in the world. And, you know, um, we were all kids one time, before, you know? And um, basically, you know, we, you know, we, we, we from here, you know, my, our fathers, you know, my dad was born here in 1937, Gene being here, I mean, forever, and our, uh, you know, we were born pretty much the same as these children today, so, but we want to give back, we want to give back, we want to show these kids that, you know, um, it's about the community, and when you make it in life, never forget your home. You know, and we always think about the children first. Children come first because they are our future. They are our future the same way. We all will one day not be here, and they have to continue the culture. Yeah, I noticed that uh, Lorraine Chicken Shack is a family, it's a very family-oriented yeah. restaurant. And, I mean, the theme is I'm here is family, family. How important was it to be able to look at your product, the chicken, and then turn Coquito into this major event that brings out everybody? How did you come up with that idea? There's a lot of, you know, well, it was actually like three by head that uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we get our head together, we, we start planning, you know. Yeah, yeah. We actually, um, uh, Johnny Dalla. Yeah, Johnny da uh, Daly. He, um, when we were just doing Christmas parties, Johnny Daly, another old timer, you know, from St. Croix, he came, he came out with an idea, hey, you know, why don't you do something Christmas party? Even the Christmas, he said, do a poquito contest. So 12 years ago, like like Angel said, you know, we've been here 17 years, so 12 years ago we did a Coquito contest. We did not think it was going to be that successful. And we started with about seven contestants, I believe, and then it just kept growing and growing and growing. And, and, and now it's turned out to uh, such an amazing event. Absolutely. An amazing event. An amazing event for the community. And the 
community actually looks so forward to this event. So are you guys gonna tell us what the secret ingredients goes in, that goes oh into the rotisserie? Oh my God, it's the family it's the recipe. recipe. <laughs> Chicken and the cookie <laughs> Uh We will tell you when you shut the camera off. <laughs> no, it's a family recipe. <laughs> yeah, it's a family secret made by our beloved Beijing. He came out with that recipe. And it's only it's only four of us who know it, and it's gonna stay with us for. Oh wow, nice, nice. Yeah. So now that you won, you know you know what the Super Bowl. Now that you won the Super Bowl, what are you gonna do? Now that you won the coquito contest, what are you gonna do now? Make more coquito. <laughs> <laughs> and go to Disney World. I go to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, guys. All right, All right thank you so much. You're welcome. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.